I'm a cardiac electrophysiologist. What that means is I'm sort of like an electrician of the heart. I deal with uh, abnormalities of the heart that may cause the heart's electrical system to either cause the heart to go too slow or to go too fast. And as part of that specialty, I implant things like pacemakers, defibrillators. I manage them after implantation. I also deal with uh, fast heart issues such as supraventricular tachycardia or atrial fibrillation or ventricular tachycardia. And as part of that, my specialty involves evaluating that treating people with either medicine or sometimes uh, performing procedures in the heart called catheter ablation, which is sort of uh, destroying some of the abnormal tissue that causes these problems with heat or cold energy. So the Watchman device is a device that a lot of us in uh, the cardiology field have been waiting for for a long time because a lot of our patients that have atrial fibrillation are at a high risk of stroke, some people as high as 10 to 15 percent annually. So you know, you can imagine how high their risk of stroke really is. The way we normally bring the risk of stroke down is by starting people on what's called anticoagulation, which are what we commonly call blood thinners. Some of these include warfarin, Prodaxa, Xarelto, Eliquis, Cervesa. The problem is a lot of people can't tolerate these new blood thinners or warfarin um, because of their risk of bleeding. Uh, maybe they're bruising or falling, and as a result, it would be much more dangerous to keep them on uh, the blood thinners and if we can't put them on the blood thinners now we're allowing them to have this high risk of stroke so what the watchman device is intended to do is to sort of bridge that gap for those people and what the device is it looks like a little umbrella uh, it's implanted into the heart through a little um, access through the vein in the groin what it does is it gets implanted into the left atrial appendage we think that about 90 percent of stroke related to atrial fibrillation originates in that little pouch and what the device does is sits inside the pouch the body sort of covers that area of the heart and after 45 days we take a look with uh, an echo and make sure that the body has really sealed that device off and if so uh, the majority of people over 97 percent in the clinical trials have been able to come off of uh, the blood thinner so it's been an honor to be able to be first but I think what we're really working on over time is just making sure the procedure is as safe as we can get it um, really helping the people that really need it and you know we want to be known as doing it the best not the f not first well when I was looking for a job um, coming out of fellowship I was looking for the right fit and I think for me the right fit was a cardiology group that I saw that would have the room for someone like myself to grow um, and wanted to be with people that I could feel uh, we're very trustworthy. We're taking great care of patients. And I think when I spent some time around the practice before I came here, I think the patients sort of said it all. You know, patients sort of love each of their individual docs within our practice. And I think that's a bigger testimony than what anybody else can say is sort of what our patients say about us. And um, I think the three of the guys before I came, um, patients love them. And to me, I wanted to be a part of that.